Hello, my name is Scott Damon and I'm with Myotest and today I'm going to go through one of the Myotest training applications. We're going to look at what's, at what's called the Eccentric Utilization Ratio, EUR. And what this is is a ratio of the athlete's ability to generate power in vertical height of a counter movement jump or vertical jump and compare that against the athlete's ability to generate power in vertical height from a squat jump or a static jump. So let me first give you a quick demonstration of how the mild test gathers the information, then we'll talk about a little bit about what this information means and how you can use it as a coach. Uh, first off, I have my mild test device turned on, and I will hit enter to go into one of the protocols. Let's first start with jump counter movement, also same as vertical jump. I need to enter my body weight which in this case is uh, 202 pounds. And I have an option of choosing repetitions anywhere from one to 20 repetitions. For this example, I'll just do one. I go down to next, it says place sensor on the belt, press enter to start, wait for beep, one repetition. Okay, so I'll go back here and do my counter movement jump. I have the, the elastic band around the waist here. We firmly affix the mile test right here on the hip. And I'm going to hit enter to start. The mile test is going to be, I'm going to do one counter movement jump, get as high as I can, come back into a resting position. For our protocols, we recommend the hands on the hips or some sort of neutral position to keep the upper body as quiet as possible so we can really isolate the lower extremities and see what's going on with the leg power. So I'll hit enter, I'll get into position, wait for the beep. Make my jump. Double beat means that the protocol was followed properly. Now I have some instant results. Let's take a look at them. So what's displayed here is we've got my height of jump, 13.8 inches. That's vertical hip displacement. Okay, not jump and reach. Power, 46.7 watts per kilo of body weight force 23.8 newton per kilo of body weight and velocity 239 centimeters per second. So those are my base values for a vertical jump. Let's kind of remember the height of jump right now. So when we look at this eccentric utilization ratio, I'm going to compare height of jump from vertical jump to squat jump. So we've got 13.8 inches. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this test information. This can be downloaded into the mild test software. Now I'm going to go to jump SJ for squat jump or static jump. Once again, I'm entering in my body weight at 202 pounds. I'm selecting one repetition and I'm ready to go. Now for this movement, the mild test is going to give me a first beat and have me get into a squat position. I'm going to go to about a 90 degree knee bend, but as a coach you can control the depth of the squat. Once I drop into that position and hold, the mild test is going to sense me, come still, wait for the next beat, then I'm going to explode out of that position. Okay? So we're going to get a true power and height of jump from a squat position. Mild test controls the efficacy of the movement so we know we're getting good data. This is important. So I'll wait for the beat. Drop down, hold. Jump out, come back to resting position. You hear the double beep, that means the protocol was finished successfully. Once again, I'm going to have some instant results. So in this case, starting from a static position, you can see my jump height is 11.6 inches, power 34.6, Newton 20.1, and velocity 211 centimeters per second. I'm going to go ahead and save that information. Now what's important is for us to take a look at that height of jump. The height of jump from my counter movement at 13.8 divided by the height of jump from my static jump or squat jump. And there's debate within the research of how big that spread should be, but to make sure that you're properly utilizing elasticity in the stretch shortening cycle, the athlete should be generating between 15 and 20 percent more power in a counter movement versus a static jump. So as a coach, you can take a look at that. You can look to see where that spread is between the power and the height of jump to see 
Is your athlete indeed trained properly and engaged in that stretch shortening cycle to maximize elasticity for performance, or if it's something that needs to be worked on? So I hope this offers kind of a, a good insight of a real nice and valuable application of using the mild test to get a baseline of where your athlete stands with this eccentric utilization ratio and make sure when you go through the athletic training, you can go back and see if you're positively impacting and getting the results you're looking for. So please, for more information, visit our website, www.myotest.com. It's M-Y-O-T-E-S-T. -E and we also will have some more educational videos posted on YouTube to talk about some of our other protocols. Thank you for your time.